All right. So after four days of awesome fun here in Shenzhen, I, I finally found what I was really looking for. This is a eighty-seven dollar, three point five inch, capacitive Android smartphone. Right there, you got eighty-seven dollars. No more. You can get an Android smartphone that three point five inch. Half VGA resolution, ARM9 processor, big Android logo, sound coming out of it, GPS, camera, and the cool thing actually is that it's not crap, it's actually working. Well, let's boot it up and let's try it out, because a couple days ago I started finding these, which is a, 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 an iPhone that runs Android. And so this is uh, around $120, $120, and you have a 3.5 inch capacitive, 3.5 inch capacitive, and uh, as you can see here, it's not bad at all. But for some reason, just because it's an iPhone kind of design, uh, with an Android logo on the back, I was not able, and with the <laughs> funny Apple proprietary connector right here, I was not able to get this for, for find this for cheaper than $120. Uh, which is 780 renminbis, but I don't care about the design. And check this out: you can basically have uh, one that well, it looks kind of probably like one of these HTC things, like reference designs, uh, right here. And uh, it's totally working. Let me go in, into camera mode. Oh, the camera might not work if. There's no SIM card inside. Is, would it work? Can you see me? There's a camera right here. It, there's a camera inside. There's a GPS inside. Is there a compass or not? The only negative thing I can find on this device, like the really kind of like negative thing is that this thing, one would expect because of Google's design, that it would do trackpad. But it doesn't. It just does menu. Okay? So no no uh, a mouse on this thing, it just does a menu, and it looks like kind of like the HTC Desire thing. But hey hey, this is totally capacitive, and it's a touch panel by a Taiwanese company. There are only very few companies that can make touch screen, and actually they told me that it's not the same capacitive that is on this. So this one is a Chinese uh, touch screen, and for some reason the Chinese one they say is a better one. Uh, slightly better. It might be better, but hey, I, I can't really, I can't really feel difference in, in these these devices. And I'm sure if you don't like the HTC Sense hack hack thing, you can probably uh, install whatever home replacement you want. And this is totally Froyo. There's Froyo running on this because uh, MediaTek, the MediaTek 6516, which is on here. It can support for you. So where do I click settings? I'm going on the about phone. You can see here for you. Of course, this is for you right here. So this is fun. What do you want me to test on these two devices? Just send me comments, and I will post uh, my report. And oh, yeah, there's another thing that's kind of negative about these is. Um, they have dual SIM card. It means you can have two phone numbers running at the same time. That's really negative. Uh, well, no, that's actually cool, but they're not 3G. Okay, no 3G data on this. You're gonna have to manage with GPRS. That's the only thing. But hey, if you wait another couple of weeks or couple of months or something, MediaTek has a 3G chip, which is also faster now. It's gonna be ARM11 instead of ARM9. And that's just MediaTek. There is also Qualcomm doing cheap processors for cheap phones. Uh, there's all kinds of other stuff. Broadcom coming, and there's some Chinese chips. So even Rock Chip are going to be in some of these phones very soon. This is eighty-seven dollars. So thanks for watching. The coolest thing that I could find in the Shenzhen market. I really spent four days like crazy looking everywhere and asking everybody. This is the best I could find.